Oh my god, only four organic polymer. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, why am I not getting a lot? Okay, maybe it's the hatchet. Not really, no. <laughs> Shoot. So today I want to focus on cryopods because our character is currently level 50, actually getting pretty close to level 51, and level 51 is when you unlock cryos. Now, cryos are going to help us when transferring maps because obviously uploading the creature, things tend to go a little awry. There's a very good chance that you'll lose a dino when you're transferring it from map to map when using the creatures tab, but when using cryopods and actually bringing your creature over that way, I've tended to have better luck, and as I've mentioned in previous episodes, I really want to go for a Ravager pack. We've gotten some really good saddles along the way, and that's something that I really just want to get a decent amount of good Ravagers. I want to bring them back to the island here. I want to do some breeding, and I want to get a really good Ravager pack here. It's something that personally I've never done, but today's focus is going to be the Cryopods. Now, in order to make a Cryopod, you need a total of 10 Crystal, 15 Fiber, 5 Hide, 2 metal, 4 oil, and 8 polymer. Now, most of those things are going to be relatively easy to get in the area that we're in. We have river rocks for the metal. We have fiber all around us. Hide will have to kill a couple creatures here and there. Crystal will be a little bit of a trip, but we can get that done. Oil and polymer might be a little bit tough to do, but we'll be able to get it done. And I think at that point, once we get all of those resources, we will have enough stuff and we will have enough XP to be level 51 and go ahead and make some cryopods. So... Let's get started with the easy stuff here. Now, like I said, we're going to get fiber. Now, I want to make a total of 10 cryopods, at least at this point. If we end up with a little bit more, that's totally fine. But like I said, we need a total of 15 fiber. So we're looking at about 300 fiber in total. So let's go ahead, get that, that. Just kidding. That's 20, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely 20. Okay, we might be making 20 crap. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, okay, so we need a total of five hide, which means we have to go ahead and kill a few creatures. Now, the good thing is I do want to actually kill creatures on the back of the Equus because the Equus does have a few levels here ready to go. But at the same time, I'll keep going with XP. I kind of want to just go into melee damage right now because stamina is looking pretty good. Health's actually looking really good because, again, we do have a really good saddle and the weight's not too bad either. But you know what? Let's experiment here. Let's put one level into health. OK, so probably one more level into health and then we'll be looking pretty good. Uh, then after that, I think we'll focus on weight a little bit. Now, I do want to look at these dodos. OK, it's a level 15. That's fine. Perfect. Cool. 58. Killed it right away. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit of hide. Okay, that's 13. No big deal. Let's go ahead to we're going to take the hide that we previously have and move it on to my character just to make things a little bit easier. So we are looking for a total of 20 hide. I've actually went ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and make 20 cryopods instead of 10 cryopods. I think that's just the more the merrier at this point because we're running around getting resources. We we might as well just go ahead and do that route now. Why am I taking a look at the dodos? I want to make sure that I don't kill any high-level females. So, as you guys recall, episode one, we ended up getting ourselves a really good 150 dodo uh, that we ended up naming Tyson. So, I want to see if we can find a female at some point. That'd be absolutely great to do a little bit of breeding. But, all right, 12 more hide. Not looking too shabby. Let's see. I think I'm okay with just going around and killing the little things. I don't want to go too crazy with bigger game right now. I know we'll go ahead and get a decent amount of hide from that, but if we can get a Lystro killed here and there, get a little bit of hide from that, not the end of the world. There we go. Little hide from you, 23. All right, what level are you? 50. Okay. Now, another thing that I do want to mention, too, is, and I 100% feel like I did this wrong, I actually turned on the Fear Evolved event. Was this Dodo here before, or did this just spawn in? I don't remember you being here. Okay. So, yeah, I went ahead and turned on the Fear Evolved event. Now, I don't know what that honestly is going to do for us. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the series, I actually had the PAX event enabled, but because it's right around Halloween and everything, I decided, eh, we'll see what happens. And I was genuinely hoping that the drops were going to be from the Fear of Evolved event. I was kind of hoping, and I did end up um, kind of... 
fast forwarding a couple of days. So right now, currently on the island, it's day seven. I wanted to see if we were going to get the uh, the Dodo Rex or whatever symbol in the sky, but it hasn't seemed to happen. So I don't know if the Fear Evolved event will just bring in the colors or not. I was kind of hoping to get everything that comes with the Fear Evolved event, but it is what it is at the end of the day. No big deal. You guys can let me know in the comments because... I'm not entirely sure what that's going to constitute. But for right now, guys, like I said, I have changed it from the PAX event over to the Fear, of Fear Evolved event, hoping that, you know, we'd get a few things. But there's been no gravestones. There's been nothing along that route. So I don't know if it's working or it's just not going to happen for us. Not entirely sure. Now, I do see a Parasaur up here. I think, you know what, we'll go for you if we can. Ooh, you're 135. Interesting. I might not want to knock you out. I might want to go for something a little bit better. Let's see. Well, a little bit worse, rather. The good ones I kind of want to leave here. Level 60, that's fine. And that'll get us the hide that we need. And then this should get us the two requirements. Honestly, I think we're over the requirements, honestly. I think I only needed 100, didn't I? Well, regardless, there's our level up. Perfect. So now we are currently level 51 or about to be. We're going to go ahead and put that into weight. 350 weight. Let's bring it on down to level 51 and let's unlock the cryopod. There we go. We also have access to the Thyla saddle. We're not going to do anything with that yet. Uh, but the cryopod, obviously, really important, like I mentioned at the beginning of this one. And at this point, yeah, 200 height. We're actually more than... Uh, 520, that's 100. So we actually have 100 extra there. Metal, oil, and polymer along with crystal. Now, crystal's going to be a little bit interesting. We are going to have to take a little bit of a trip. We're going to head over probably to the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the lava cave. Right at the beginning of the lava cave, I believe there's crystal. Now, for oil, there's a couple of places we could go for that. I think what we're going to do is honestly... I think we're going to take, it is going to be a bit risky, but I think we are going to take the raft with us for this one. It's just going to be a little bit easier trying to get the Equus onto, instead of trying to get it onto the canoe and everything and have it falling off along the way, it's easier to just ride with the raft. Now, there is a risk, of course, with lead sickness and stuff like that, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine, right? Uh, also, too, if I don't start seeing, like, colors and stuff popping up, that symbolize the Fear Evolved event, I may end up just nixing the Fear Evolved event and I'll go ahead and put packs back on because I ultimately do want colors and everything. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not looking to do any dino wipes. So the hopes, the hope was that eventually we would get some dinos from the Fear Evolved event and then some dinos from the Thanksgiving event on the map, then eventually would be the Christmas event, all that. And once in a while, we might see a dino a couple months down the line that was still here from the PAX event, you know what I mean? Kind of get all the event colors at once, which I thought would be really cool. But we'll have to see what happens, of course. Uh, let me see. Before we leave, am I missing anything? No, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Why, why are we not moving? There we go. Perfect. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and head down the coast a little bit. And this is going to bring us basically near Herbivore Island. There's going to be the lava cave over there. That is where Crystal's going to be. Now, for oil... No, there's no oil that way. Isn't there oil the opposite way over there? Yeah, there's oil over at 2. You know, we'll go for oil first then. Let's do that. Might be a bit risky, but I think we'll be okay. Now, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, these little bubbles and everything coming out, I believe this is oil. So let's jump on down. Let's have a quick look here. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. All right, no leads around. That's always good news. It's not you, but it's you. Okay, here we go. Now, how much oil are we going to get? All 
All right, 65 oil from the start. Not too shabby. Wait, is there only one node here? Why did I always think there were like two or three nodes? you all right it looks like there's another node right here and this should be able to get us enough i think we need only a total of 80 and we have 65 okay so we're actually relatively close funny enough i guess we haven't fully rendered in the ichthyornises yet and this is kind of what we're dealing with okay level 15 level 15 hello pelagornis okay let's jump in let's get the rest Ah, uh, they're going to attack me, aren't they? Let's see, are they coming after me? No, they're not. Okay, sweet. Awesome. But yeah, I think we ended up getting a total of what? 113? That is more than enough. Okay, we can check that off our list. Yeah, I think we got to check out that yellow drop. You guys know I'm not going to pass up any loot. Okay, so it's not a yellow with a ring around it, just a normal yellow. But still, I think it's going to be our first yellow of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Now, trying to remember here, uh, we're level 51. We should have access to this, correct? Or is it 55? I think it's 45 on the island. I want to say it's 45 on the island, but 55 on Scorched Earth. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second, guys. Let's see if we can get this loot drop. Yes, we can. And it's got a Dire Bear saddle. Okay. Interesting. Cool. I like that. All right. 33 armor, nothing too crazy, but 393 in cementing paste, 512 fiber, and 1181 in hide. Okay. Nope. Uh, actually, let's double check that one more time. Yeah, 1181 in hide. Seems like a lot of hide, but at the same time, you can get that relatively quickly, right? All uh, right, and here we are at the lava cave. Now, this shouldn't take too, too long. I'm honestly really hoping that we get the amount of crystal that we need. Because in the past, whenever I've come here, I've usually had a stone pick. And I know you don't get a lot of crystal from that. But now that we have a metal pick, and this is a ramshackle one that we ended up getting on Genesis 2. Uh, this one has 58 durability, but 119 weapon damage. Uh, there is a chance that we'll get a little bit better yield. We'll have to see what happens. But again, we're shooting for a total of 200. I don't know if we're going to get that, but let's see how many we can get here. Okay, first one gave us 27. 39. Ooh, okay, it's, it's going to be, be pretty close, close actually. 44. Three. That's, That's not good. good. <laughs> uh, all, right, all right, let's, let's readjust. readjust. Let's, let's see if we can, we can get, get this, this one. one. Come, Come on, I'm right, right there. there. Oh, you, oh, you might, might not actually, actually be able to get, get this. this. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, now... now. All right, All right, well, well we, we got the next, next group, group down, down here, here so, so let's, let's see, see if we, we can, can get, get our 200. 200. All right, 210 crystal. We are all good to go here. Just need to get the poly, just need to get the metal, and we'll be looking pretty good at this point. All right, let's get a little bit of metal here from Herbivore Island. All right, so we're almost there at this point. We just need to get the polymer. Now, unfortunately, the best place to get polymer here on the island is, of course... The Arctic biome. We're gonna have to go up and kill some penguins, which, 
which is going to be a bit of a trip, but it is what it is at the same time. We need a total of 160 polymer. Shouldn't be too, too bad to get if I'm going to be honest. Uh, using the raft up there is going to be pretty interesting because I'm not too sure if the Arctic biome really gets a lot of lead sicknesses, but... Who knows? We'll see what happens, of course. But at this point, shouldn't be too bad of a trip. We're just going to kind of ride the coast the entire time and hopefully no uh, Sarkos or anything get in the way. But relatively speaking, it should be a relatively simple trip. Just going to take a little bit to get there. All right, so we got our first penguin sightings here. Of course, it is going to be a bit of a race against time because right now we are dropping health relatively quickly. So let's see if we can quickly get this done. Come on. I just want to get headshots. Oh my god, really? There we go. Don't run. No, 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 no. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> uh, shoot. There we go. Okay, you done. Oh my god, of course I missed. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. So we got two. That's not good. Three. Oh my god, only four organic polymer. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, why am I not getting a lot? Okay, maybe it's the hatchet. Not really, no. <laughs> Shoot. Come on. All right, that gave me five. Oh, my God. There's really not that many here either. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, where are we at? We're at 53 health. Okay, so we definitely still have a little bit of time. Let's see what we can do here. Um... All right, I got an idea. We're going to get some torches, and let's hope that that's going to be just enough. Can I get up this ramp here? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. That's not going to be good if we can't. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, sweet. Not sure if we were supposed to be able to do that, but I will definitely take advantage of it. Okay, so nothing really. Ooh, we got some penguins up here, too. Nice. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, rock, 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 rock. All right, we can make three. Let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, torch. Oh, God, is this not going to be enough? <gasps> no, it's not going to be enough. How slow is it still? Okay, so I think it's definitely helped the process, especially eating, too. But, yeah, we're still... Oh, no. All right, there's a couple of them up here. But I really don't want to have to deal with this Argent. It's a level 15, so it's not that bad. Oh, uh, man. All right, I think the smartest move is, in fact, to go back down. Oh, man, we're running a risk here. Oh, my God, there's a couple of them in here, though. How much poly do we have? We only have 15 poly? Oh, my God. All right, our health's not going down too, too much. Ah, oh, crap, a Deodon spawned in. All right. I think going for these guys is going to be the better route. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, oh, crap. Yep, so here is my solution. <laughs> I'm just going to knock everything out in the area. Okay, the Argent's running away. Cool.
Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. Come on. Six poly. Five poly. Four poly. Unfortunately, I think 39 is the best we're going to be able to do right now. It is just way too cold for us to be up here. We're currently at 21 health. Do we risk it and go for a little bit more? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to see how much we can get here. Come on. Knock out, buddy. Or die. I don't care. Okay, good. Six. Okay. Are there any more bodies? I don't see any more. Okay, we got to go. We got to go. Okay, so right here, we're actually only snowflaked. Interesting. Okay. By the way, let's go ahead. Let's put some levels into the Equus here. So 680.4, 707. Okay, so the next level will be the last in wait, and then we'll just focus on melee here. Now, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We should be snowflaked again. Okay, good, 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 good. We're just going to have to stay here for a really long time. It's currently 25 degrees. Uh, slowly but surely, our health should be going back up at this point. Okay, it keeps dropping because I keep checking it. But yes, it is actually keep going up. So eventually we should be okay. It's just going to be a little bit of time. All right, we may actually have to run because there is no place that it's 25 degrees anymore. It is staying at 24 degrees, which is putting us in hypothermia. Oh, no. Come on, find a spot, find a spot, find a little snowflake. What about, like, the water? 24 still. Yeah, it's still 24. I think at this point we just gotta run. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. I was really hoping that we can get a little bit more, but at the end of the day, I still think we'll be able to make about four or five cryopods, which really isn't that bad. Again, in a perfect world, I would have loved to been able to make about 20 of these, but uh, yeah, we got to make sure that we don't die here ultimately. So let's get back to the raft. Let's get back to a little bit of warmth, and then we can figure out uh, what we're going to do from there. All right, finally, after such a long trip, let's add the organic polymer in there, and there we go. We can make a total of five. <laughs> I did jump the gun a bit there, really hoping to get 10 to 20 of these made, but here we go. First cryopod made. Let's go ahead and make the second. Yeah, the biggest thing is going to be the polymer at this point, guys. Obviously, having to head up to the snow biome is going to be an absolute pain in the ass right now. It is way too cold for us right now. Hopefully, in the future, we'll have something that can get us up there a little bit quicker as opposed to the raft. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, but there we go. Five cryopods. Hey, you know what? It's better than nothing. I'm not going to complain too, too much. I can't move. There we go. Not going to complain too, too much about it. It's better than none. Uh, guys, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to head on back to base. This is going to be relatively a shorter episode, I can imagine, through the editing and everything. So I do apologize for it being so short. But ultimately, I wanted to make cryopods on this episode because next episode, 
We're going to be heading over to Genesis. No, 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 no. We are not heading over to Genesis 2. We are going to be heading over to Fyodor to getting ourselves a couple of Ravagers. And guys, I think we're going to do some breeding in the next episode and see what we can get. But guys, that is in fact going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And on top of that, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, you're excited for some ASA content whenever that seems to drop. You guys are excited for more ASE content. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. But at this point, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.